What's up everybody and welcome back to the Cool Fears channel and welcome back to Justice League slash DC Week here on the Cool Fears channel where we are going to be taking a look at some of McFarlane Toys' 2021 Justice League figures as well as another DC Multiverse figure that's not a part of the Justice League, well at least not the version we are going to be taking a look at this week. So today we are going to be taking a look at, of course, The Flash. But first, if you're new then welcome, this channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I upload new videos constantly throughout the week so make sure you hit that bell icon so you stay notified when I do upload new videos. And if you do enjoy this video or any of my other ones, please remember to give it a thumbs up, it really helps the channel grow and it is absolutely free to you. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button guys, it is a very small goal of mine reach at least one new subscriber per new video that I put out so please be my one new subscriber for this video thank you so much in advance as always the information on this channel is intended for doll collectors and not children I am your host Jesse the Bat Magic Girl aka the Buff Collector and once again guys it is DC week slash Justice League week here on the Cool Fears channel where we're gonna be taking a look at some of McFarlane Toys 2021 Justice League action figures and today we are gonna be taking a look at of course the Flash now to be honest guys I did not want this figure mainly because I pre-ordered the Mezco uh, Just League bundle where it comes with Ezra Miller's Flash, Black Suited Superman, as well as Ben Affleck's Batman. But while I wait, I do need some placeholders because if you did not know, if you have not been following this channel, I am trying to collect the Snyder uh, Justice League in Mezco form. So far, I do have Wonder Woman and Aquaman, um, so I'm waiting on that three-pack bundle so that way I can get it. Um, so, And then I did include the Mezco um, John Stewart Green Lantern in there as well since we were supposed to get a Green Lantern with that snack. Zack Snyder Justice League but before I get those I did need a placeholder for the flash uh, because I did have I do have a placeholder for Batman which is my Mezco Supreme Knight ba uh, Batman because it is reminiscent of the Dark Knight Returns as well as Ben Affleck's Batman and I do have a uh, McFarlane Toys Superman uh, and standing in for my black suit Mezco Superman until he gets here and I did recently pre-order the black suit Superman which we should be taking a look at sometime this week as long as the pre-order comes in this week as it says it, it is um so with that being said I did not even want this figure even as a placeholder I had no want or need for it um but when I saw it in stores and passed up on it, I kept thinking about it. And obviously nowadays, if you see a figure in stores and you pass it up, you are not going to go back and find it again. Another collector is going to come in and swoop it up or another scalper. Either one, whichever one you want to believe. I, I like to believe that's another collector. Um, but with that being said, I yeah, I did not want this figure, but I was thinking about it and I really did like it. And when I was in Hawaii, I was happy to come across him and Cyborg. And I could not pass up the opportunity to get him, of course. Um, and I'm super happy now that he is in hand uh, with, with what he is and who and what he, the way he looks. Um, he definitely looks better in hand and then in package, in store and whatnot. Um, as you can see, he poses very well with those lightning accessories that he comes with uh, that we will be taking a look at when we, when we look at uh, the things that it comes with. But yeah, I had no want or need for this figure, and now it is definitely one of my favorite McFarlane figures. This is just very well sculpted, very well painted. Um, I think the likeness is very well done in this figure, um, as well as the Cyborg one, which we will be taking a look at later in the week. Um, so, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at all the accessories that he comes with. He, of course, comes with a typical DC multiverse stand, which he is actually using right now. So, I will not pull it up, but if you've seen any of the of my DC multiverse reviews, you've seen it before. Or, in fact, if you've seen any kind of DC multi, uh, multiverse review, I'm sure you've seen the stand. And, of course, he comes with the trading card. So, here he is. Basically, the picture that they use for the poster and promotion for Justice League. Um, I'll flip the card around and I'll show you the back. You can pause the video and read it or screenshot it, whatever you want to do. Uh, with that being said, we are going to be moving on. And he, of course, comes with... Oh, man, it wouldn't be a Cool Fears video if I don't knock the video camera at least once. Right, guys? Um, he does come with these four cool lightning accessories. Uh, one for each arm and one for each leg. Super cool. Um, it goes from translucent to blue. Uh, uh, translucent. Uh, blue translucent uh, so it stays translucent but you can see there's hints of blues um, all throughout it in the middle while the ends as you can see are mainly clear uh, which is really cool it just shows more you know motion in those things and I just think that's some of the coolest accessories and one of the reasons why it drew me back 
to coming back and wanting this figure uh, and wanting to buy this figure. And the other thing is like his costume really is more armor in that movie. So um, a hard plastic doesn't look that bad on it, you know, as opposed to like Batman. Uh, where his art where his suits more cloth and stuff so the hard plastic kind of throws you off although McFarlane toys did decide to do the armor tactical version um, we will not be reviewing that Batman here in my world Batman does not wear sunglasses I'm sorry um, but the second I saw Batman with sunglasses I was like nope I'm out um, although if I do manage to get my hands on the I believe it's the target exclusive unmasked uh, or I think it's entertainment earth uh, you know, Batman, I might be able to do, or not might be able, but I might do a review on that one, uh, but we'll see. Um, it's not one of those figures high on my list to get. I have plenty of other figures that I want to get. But with that being said, guys, that is all the accessories that he comes with, so let's go ahead and pull Mr. Flash forward so we can get a closer look at his suit. As you can see, it is just nicely done, nicely detailed, nicely, whoops, nicely sculpted. The the lightning accessories don't hang on too well I have to admit so um, if you pose them with them you got to be super careful super gentle or else they will just fall off him so taking a closer look the likeness isn't you know perfect he looks a little cross-eyed now that I'm taking a closer look but when he's in his running pose, you can't really tell, so that's really nice. I do wish he came with some fist hands, even though he didn't really do too much fighting. Um, but having these open hands as a hero, kind of, it's, it's kind of awkward and weird. Um, but I understand because that's you know his hand pose when he's running and he's getting ready to run, um, and he doesn't really do too much fighting. But you know he he is the Flash. I mean, you gotta give him some credit. He can get down when he needs to. Um, but like I said, very nicely detailed and done. Taking a look at the suit right here, um, all over. Uh, the middle crotch piece right here is a soft plastic, so you can get some more movement out of the legs. But it kind of looks a little weird. Kind of looks like a diaper, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, especially from the back, it really looks like a diaper. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, like I said, when he's posed up, he doesn't look too bad. Uh, so yeah, as a closer look at the flash, let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. So, looking at his articulation, give me one sec, guys. He can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He can't really look too far down. He can look up pretty significantly, though. So that's really cool. He can look up really good. And he can look down that far. His arms do go out all the way. You do get a 360 rotation right there, as well as a butterfly joint right there. You do get double hinge elbows, so he can go all the way in. You do get the ball joint out the at the wrist, so you do get rotation as well as in and out or up and down ro hinging, however you rotate it. You do get rotation at the abs right there, as well as at the waist, which is nice. A lot of articulation in these new figures, which is really nice. Uh, he can almost do the splits right there. His legs do kick out that far. They kick back that far. He does come with double hinge knees. And then his ankle articulation is down to there, up to there, and of course, ball rocker joints. So all in all, he is a very articulated figure. And, um, oops, sorry guys. So all in all, he is a very articulated figure and a very well done and detailed figure so I'm super happy like I said to have him in hand um, taking a look at him in the store just walking by he did not look the best um, but after thinking about it and the cool lightning accessories that he comes with like I said he does come with four of them one for each limb um, I really couldn't pass up another flash and like I said he is a placeholder until I get my Mesco one but those aren't expected to come until February 2022 if they even come out on the really set release date um, at, so we will see but until then uh, we're gonna be using this guy so with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some cool pics I took of this guy and we'll be right back
Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I did recently start a separate Instagram account for more of my more thought out, planned out, more edited shots called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. So go ahead and check that out. If you like what you see, leave me a follow. But with that being said guys, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button guys. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector. And check back tomorrow for day three of Justice League slash DC Week here on the Cool Figures channel. I will talk to you guys in the next video.